I don't know what else to say. I've just been talking about blazers this whole time. <laughs> one piece of knitwear, which is actually from H&M, so I lied. There's one from Zara, one from H&M, but everything else is pretty much like, you know, brands that I don't typically shop at. Let's get back to our seats now. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be showing you everything that's new in my wardrobe right now, and I'm gonna try to get through this without laughing because my boyfriend is currently sitting on the couch next to me eating some chips and Trader Joe's garlic dip while he watches some baseball. So, um, first time he's ever seeing me film a video like this, but you guys can see I have a pretty packed rail of stuff that I have accumulated over the past probably couple of weeks, and it's a whole lot of neutrals, but you can see that there's a lot of other neutral colors that I'm adding into my wardrobe. I feel like I don't have certain tones of browns and things yet, so I'm very excited to share all of these brands with you guys because they're also just not your typical like Zara, H&M, Mango kind of thing. There are other brands that are actually really good quality or things that I have come across that I don't normally shop at. I mean, there is one Zara blazer on here, but a majority of it would be newer brands that I would also just want to let you guys know about. So make sure you're subscribed if you have not already. I would love to have you. I know I've been cranking out the vlogs, but it's a priority of mine to also do like the fashion and styling videos. So we're starting off with this one and I've broken it down into three different categories. So we have like jackets and blazers, pants, and then there's one piece of knitwear, which is actually from H&M, so I lied. There's one from Zara, one from H&M, but everything else is pretty much like, you know, brands that I don't typically shop at. So let's get started with this jacket because I placed a huge order on Madewell a couple weeks ago and it all came in and this was probably my favorite piece. So we have this nice kind of like brushed textured wool jacket and it's a shorter length. I feel like this is something that I have lacked in my wardrobe. So if you guys have seen in my vlogs, I did have a brown jacket from Zara that is similar to this, but it's not this wrap over style. It's kind of just a classic jacket with a collar, whereas this is colorless. It's this charcoal gray color, which I think is really pretty. And then it kind of crosses over to either this button over here to make this really like wrapped structure look, or you can wear it wider on this button here. So you kind of get like a two in one with it. And I really love pairing this color with gray. And I do have another pair of jeans from Madewell that I'll show you guys later on in the video, but really nice soft texture. If you guys get bothered by like natural fibers, this is a really, really soft material. So you don't have to worry about it being itchy, which is great. And such a good like in-between piece. I feel like all of these pretty much are gonna fit in that category. So I'll just say it once and then we'll continue. Um, also, I wanna mention the set that I'm wearing right now because I'm gonna forget about it, I always do. So this is a knit um, cord from Cyrus Knits and it has this nice thick ribbed material with some fuzzies on it. I should have um, lint rolled myself before showing it to you. But it has this nice like relaxed wide cuff here and then matching pants that are kind of like a crop style. I'll link both of them because you can't see them on me right now, but I do also have a code Jenna20 that will get you 20% off your order. So if you need like a nice lounging around set or today I wore this with a blazer over the top and some loafers to go to church and brunch and all of that, it's a really good like lounging outfit that looks a little bit more styled. Um, so let's move on to a blazer. This one is from, I don't even know if I'm gonna say this name right, but it's called Base. I don't know if that's it, but it's B-A-Y-S-E, and this is a new brand, it's Australian, and I fell in love with the color of this blazer. I definitely need to steam it, because I pulled it right out of the box and put it on the rail. Can but, I, can I get a napkin? Yeah. Goes to get a napkin, and comes back with a Corona and Lime. Let's get back to our seats now. Okay, so as I was saying, this color is, like I was mentioning earlier in the video, something that I feel like I didn't have in my wardrobe before, so you guys know that I wear blazers a ton, and it's probably the style of clothing that I get the most use out of in the fall and winter months. But this color specifically, I don't have any of. I do have a brown brush blazer, but it's a lot more of a warmer tone, and I really liked that this is a very like true chocolate tone blazer, and it's oversized. I got this in a medium just to ensure that it would be, but this brand, I believe, also has some unisex styles, so the women's blazers are the same as the men's blazers and vice versa, so I knew that it was gonna be more of like an oversized and cool like street style fit to it. So, love the color, and I love the structure of this. I have a black 
long sleeve midi dress from them. So I think I'm gonna put this over the top of that and then also pair it with these boots from Mark Fisher. So these are a boot that I actually saw on my friend Hazel. They weren't the exact same brand, but they were a black leather boot that had this like covering over the top of them. I still can't remember which designer this is originally from, but this is like a similar like dupe version of it. But I thought that these were such a cool take on a normal black leather boot. I do have a pair of suede ones that are more of a classic style if you guys are looking for more so something like that. But I really like this shape for something that is like worn with shorts and tights or like a skirt and tights or um, like a mini dress and a blazer like I just mentioned before. So really good like plain black boot, but if you have ones that you've worn in your wardrobe to death and you want to change it up a little bit, I think this is still a really minimal and classic style, but just adding a little bit more of a detail to it. And then I'll just show you guys my um, Pride and Joy, which are actually not zippered and I only brought out one of them. Uh, but these are my Sam Edelman boots. I just got these in a week ago and I've worn them three times already. They are so comfortable. My friend Avery has bought these as well. And I believe if you sign up for email notifications on the Sam Edelman website, you will get 10% off. That's how I got 10% off of them. And so for the cost, I feel like these are a really good boot that you're gonna get a ton of use out of. These are in suede. Um, I am gonna buy a suede brush off of Amazon just so I can keep them in the best pristine condition, but I wore these to work all day long. I was walking around on the Upper East Side in them and they're super comfortable. And the heel is significant enough to the point where I feel like I'm dressing up my outfit pretty well, but then at the same time, it's also very practical and I don't feel like I'm walking around in these like super high heels and I have to like put extra effort in to gravitate toward them. So really good boot, they're super comfortable and they're true to size. Okay. Back on the blazer category, because I got a little bit distracted there. Huge surprise. Um, but we have another one from Shopo, and this is a really good textured number. This is very similar to the Nasty Gal blazer that I have, but I think that one is discontinued. So if you've been on my channel since last season and you saw that one, it's kind of like a speckled material. This one is super similar and it's even softer. So this one has this like black and white weave texture to it, and again, very oversized, and this has a really good weight. Oh my gosh, I was thinking this was so heavy, but it's because there's a pair of leather pants on here. So we're sticking with the oversized fit that I already showed you with the base blazer, but this one is a little bit of a more textured material, and it's like thick without being too weighted now that we have the leather pants off of the hanger. And then our next blazer is going to be this one from W Awake. Um, I'm inferring that that means wide awake, but um, I actually don't know for sure, but it's this very like minimal branding. I actually loved their like hang tag and everything, just small details like that. I don't know, just catch my eye. But this is a super soft camel colored blazer. It's a very like rich type of camel. It's not too orangey though. I think that sometimes it's difficult to find a camel that's not too gray or not too orange because those tones are hard to like match with other things in my wardrobe and I feel like this one is the perfect balance. I did already style this with all black underneath it. Or did I wear a white t-shirt? No, I think it was all black. Um, but I would also do like a white t-shirt and jeans with this. You can do a black t-shirt and jeans. So just mixing and matching a bunch of different like staples that you would probably already have in your wardrobe. And again, an oversized blazer looks really cool over like shorts and tights or a mini dress or something that you just need a little bit more coverage on. I would also just like throw it over the top of this set that I'm wearing right now or honestly any of these blazers. And then we're gonna move on to another piece that is coincidentally also from W Awake and this is a very classic and beautiful trench coat. Same deal with the camel blazers. I feel like a trench coat is also hard to find like the perfect, I don't know, I'm gonna say Burberry because they make the epitome of the trench coat, but it's hard to find a Burberry toned trench and I feel like this one is a lot nicer than the one that I already have in my wardrobe. The one that I have right now is like a very dark tan color and the fabric is really like drapey and flimsy, whereas this has more structure to it. It has a really nice length too. And then it has these pretty um, tortoise buttons that I always just love to add a nice little detail and it just makes it look really like high quality. And then we have some pockets on the side and hidden, um, so the buttons are gonna be hidden once the trench is actually closed because it has this 
kind of panel that goes over the top of it, which again, I think makes it look more expensive. So I love pairing this with a little white t-shirt and jeans, but then also all black underneath. This is also a really good piece to throw over the top of like a workout outfit if you were like running errands with some high socks and chunky sneakers. So, I mean, it's a trench, really endless ways to wear this one. And just glad I added something that had a little bit more elevation into my wardrobe or into my trench collection, I should say. Okay, and then this jacket is a little bit of a different take on a blazer, and I thought that this was a stunning silhouette. So, obviously we know I have a ton of black blazers in my wardrobe already, or I just wear the one that I have a ton. But this one is a square neckline, and it's meant to be worn, buttoned, and closed. So, I thought that this was a really good idea to add in, because when you're going to like dinner or drinks, or girls night, whatever the case may be, when it's getting a little bit chillier out. And really, I feel like the only option we have is like a blazer or a leather jacket to throw over the top of like any other tank top that we wear to go out. And I feel like this is a good in-between piece that acts as your jacket, but also your top for the night and you're just set and ready to go. So this would look really cute with like jeans and heels, or I guess you can also wear trousers and just make it look extra elevated if you have an event to go to. I have like glittery heels that I think would look really cute with it if I was going to something a little bit more fancier or date night or something like that. So really nice, like high quality fabric. And I feel like this is going to be a very well worn piece in my wardrobe as it gets a little bit colder out. Okay, I just had to take a water break because I feel like I'm talking so fast through everything, but we have a lot to get through. So the next piece, this is my Zara piece of the haul. <laughs> Not to say this is the only piece that I've purchased from Zara recently, but I felt like this one needed to be included into this video because we're talking all about blazers and all about fall. And basically the epitome of my fall wardrobe is a blazer. So. I picked up an olive green tone blazer. This is their classic double-breasted oversized blazer. I think that's the full name of it. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. I think there's four or five of them now. Um, I got this in a size large because I always get my blazers true to size and I regret it every single time. So I've been trying to be a little bit more intentional with like understanding the fact that I want a more oversized fit and actually buying things that are more oversized. And I thought that this color was really pretty. It's like a very cool toned olive. And it's not too, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like too much color. I think this fits more into like the khaki olive category than being more of like a mossy olive. And I don't know what else to say. I've just been talking about blazers this whole time. <laughs> but I think it's gonna look really pretty as like another fall color to add into my collection. And then the last blazer that we're gonna talk about for this video, which I should have just made this a blazer haul at this point, but we have this gray um, brushed fabric blazer. I wore this today. It is so comfortable, it's so soft, and the structure and shape of this is stunning. Not as oversized as some of the other ones that I've been showing you guys, but that is because we have a pair of matching trousers. So I think I fell in love with gray last year in the fall and added a lot of it into my wardrobe, and it was kind of just like me recognizing that there was this gap and that I went a little bit nuts. But we do have a pair of trousers that have an elasticated waist. I never say no to an elasticated waist because it's just the most comfortable type of pant that you can wear, but it also looks really elevated because we have this tailoring to it and this nice piping detail that goes down the front. And then the matching blazer, I feel like this is the perfect thing that you can get for the fall months is a pair of trousers that have a matching blazer because you can wear it together, obviously. You can wear this closed with nothing underneath. You could do a base of like a white t-shirt or you can wear them separately. So that's the beautiful thing about a set. And you guys know I was obsessed with sets in the summer. I'm also taking that into fall with the one that I'm wearing now and with this little suit here, but really good quality fabrics too. I feel like everything in here is pretty good quality. I would say that the Zara blazer is probably the most flimsy, but there's no chakra there really. Um, but everything else is like super nice, like thick material or a brush material, which I think just makes the quality of it look a lot nicer. Okay, and then last two pairs of pants that I have. These are also from the same brand as the chocolate brown blazer base. And they are a pair of straight leg black trousers. And I need to just zip these up quickly because I did wear them this morning. But I've been on the hunt for a pair of black trousers that could replace my mango ones. And 
just couldn't do it. I feel like I've tried so many pairs. I literally have probably two or three pairs in my wardrobe right now that I actually don't love. And the silhouettes are fine, but then the fabric's not great. Or the fabric's fine, but it's not a true black color. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes when I buy black clothing, it's not like actually black. It kind of looks washed out. But these came in and I was so excited about them because you know when you just look at a pair of pants and I feel like this is what happened with my mango trousers is I looked at them off the hanger and like folded up and I was like, I know that those are going to fit super well and just be a really nice um, fabric to wear and that's what happened with these. So you could see that there is like a super tailored waist so you're not gonna have any waist gapping. These also come with belt loops which I'm very excited about because for some reason not all trousers are made with belt loops for women. Um, and then they just come down to a really pretty length. I am 5'8", so that's something that I have to kind of keep an eye out for, but you know, sometimes pants can fall a little bit short on me and these come down to a nice length with like chunky sneakers that I was wearing earlier before. And they also have this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a pleat in the front that also creates this piping down the front, similar to the gray ones that I just showed you guys, but very nice, good quality pair of trousers. And I'll insert a photo of me wearing them earlier today because I did style them with the white sweater that you guys are actually gonna see in one moment after I show you this pair of jeans. So I mentioned the Madewell order that I placed and these are to sadly, sadly replace my, um, what are those called? I have a pair of vintage Levi's and they are such a nice quality pair of denim. I feel like Levi's does a really nice like thick denim but at the same time, they're a size 27, they're a little bit too big on me and when I wear them once, they just like kind of fall a little too low and then they're like baggy where I don't need them to be baggy. So these were kind of to replace those and they have this nice pleating detail in the front here. This lighting is making me look so, so pale. Um, but then they come down to a straight leg which is similar to the other ones that I had and when I put these on, I just felt like they feel the same as my Levi's but they're just a little bit more tailored kind of if I were to get the Levi's tailored to my shape, this is what they would be like. So really good replacement for those. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of the Levi's or just bring them home to try to get them tailored by um, the nice lady that does our tailoring in New Jersey. But our last thing for the haul, I will have a lot more knitwear coming in the next few weeks, but for right now, this is really the only purchase that I've made over the past couple of months for knitwear. So this is a cashmere blend sweater from H&M. If you guys are looking for really nice quality sweaters, either if it's on H&M or Zara or Mango, which are like very high street brands, they also do typically carry some cashmere and wool blend sweaters, and those are the ones that I would go for if you're looking for something that's gonna last a little bit longer. Wool, just to warn you, is a little bit itchier. Cashmere is always softer, so just to keep that in mind. But this is a cashmere sweater. It has a ribbed hem on the bottom and then also at the cuff and on the neckline as well and it is the coziest fit. I actually got this in a large because I wanted it to look very oversized and pair it with some trousers and then going into the fall and winter when it gets a little bit colder, I'll start throwing a blazer over the top or a leather jacket and then when we're like in the dead of winter here and it's 12 degrees, then I can throw a nice oversized coat over the top or you can like drape this over your coat and just have a really nice like layering look to it. But cream knits are something that I also shied away from because I felt like they made me look more pale, but then I got tanning drops, so we're good to go. And this is a really nice, like, quality, thick knit to add into your wardrobe if you're looking to have better made pieces that are gonna last a little bit longer than if you were to buy, like, a sweater for $50. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how long this video was because we had a couple of intermissions with my special guest here, um, but thank you for sticking with me throughout this video. I know I've bombarded you with a ton of new in pieces, but if you guys are looking to add in more pieces, Pieces for your capsule wardrobe of the season then I feel like this was a pretty good roundup of everything that I've been picking up recently and I will try to make it a point to do this more frequently so that you don't have these big of a haul of like new in fall wardrobe staples and hopefully I'll just have like maybe 
you know, five to 10 at a time, except I feel like this is 10. So let's say five to seven pieces is gonna be the goal moving forward. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I will link everything in the description and then also look out for any discount codes that I will have next to the link just in case you can get a discount off of any of these styles just because I really love all of them and I can't wait to style all of them for my Instagram. So again, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you guys and I will see you all in my next video.